yeah uh, good evening everyone so first of all let me welcome you all for this aws uh, solutions architect training program yeah we were uh, doing uh, some important uh, modules especially uh, what we have covered yesterday i'll just uh, recap uh, we have gone through one of the important automation module uh, that is uh, infrastructure as a code that is uh, uh, aws cloud formation so please remember this is one of the important uh, service uh, where uh, uh, this uh, cloud services will really really help us in many many uh, what we call as uh, um, advantages okay so what exactly does is that the entire infrastructure in the cloud can be translated into a code so the code can be either json or yaml please remember this type of questions are mostly asked in the interviews okay so as discussed also terraform is also one of the equivalent to this particular one there are also similarities are very very high so if you are very very familiar about this uh, uh, aws uh, what we call as cloud formation you can easily pick up this uh, terraform okay so it is an open source that's all right even this one also is open source but it is widely used in aws so we spoke about uh, yesterday uh, the advantages of uh, aws cloud uh, cloud formation I think Rubina is waiting in the lobby. I try to, yeah. Now she has entered. Okay, so we learned about the advantages, the taking a snapshot of uh, the infrastructure, and in that way, at any point of time, you can get a repeated uh, what we call as uh, uh, deployments uh, very easily, very easily. That is one big advantage which you have. And uh, second important thing is that. Uh, you can deploy whatever is the customized code and at a very very lower level okay even an operator also can easily can easily what we call as a, uh, i mean deploy the code and deploy the code and exactly same to same it can be uh, deployed so that is the biggest and the cost is also very very less they don't charge for the code they only charge for the infrastructure what is deployed so uh, Uh, we learned about yesterday a couple of things yesterday we learned about the designer okay the designer where you can drag and drop your aws services and still get the code in yaml or json that is the first method which we saw and the second method which we saw is from the sample template we saw about a sample template called as lamp lamp linux apache mysql and uh, php so we saw about deployment about that and then we saw all the infrastructure is getting executed in minutes in sec or in minutes and you don't require to do anything the behind infrastructure is controlled and managed everything by the amazon itself okay so behind infrastructure means that whether it is an ec2 whether it is a storage whether it is s3 bucket whatever it is you just put it in the code it automatically gets deployed so automatically so we saw that lamp server mysql php once the stack is uh, executed you can see that the stack is fully uh, deployed okay and we verified all the things also whether it is mysql or php in uh, our web server and it is ready to uh, use ready to use and the third method also we are done is that i have given you a yaml code okay yaml code okay which uh, is uh, for uh, mainly for uh, uh what we call as a, a vpc okay deployment of a vpc i shown you i explained also by seeing that what is that uh, code also the task code that yaml so once you see that code and once you deploy the vpc is deployed not only vpc subnets route table internet gateway all the infrastructure what we have learned for the vpc is ready now so it is deployed in one go and also we learned about the update so please remember that uh, Uh, update is also a very very important we just modified the code so initially we had task one dot yaml and then we also uh, added some few lines to add a bucket okay so that is uh, you can see it in task two dot yaml and then once you update that you should see what are all the things which has been updated a preview kind of thing will be shown and only those things will be getting implemented or deployed so yes we tested all those things uh, very Uh, much and the recordings also i have shared you so i am expecting that all of you has done uh, whoever has come to the class yes uh, you have done and also please do couple of times so this is a very very uh, important feature especially 
uh, in devops also okay my suggestion is that please do a couple of times and also please put up this type of points especially in your resume so that you are familiar with cloud formation templates and also my suggestion please learn these things please learn and you can ask me questions as needed practice more you can even deploy this uh, lamp stack or ruby stack or wordpress whatever it is please do all those things the more and more and more you practice the more you become solutions architect it's not that only just listening in the classroom will not really really uh, give you a complete sense this is only a, 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 a bottom line a bottom line this is the minimum things which you should listen in the class but practice is more essential yeah any questions from anyone please do ask me now otherwise we will proceed with today's topic today's topic is uh, something which is uh, very very important in continuation to yesterday's topic yes please if there are questions please ask if there are no questions please reply saying that no questions or everything is okay no questions yes, okay chandan no no questions so also nothing okay vamshi also nothing no okay. Yes, so, is okay. Yeah, is Sai Satvika there or not? No question, sir. Okay. Sai there? No, I don't think so. Is there? Okay. So let us proceed with uh, today's uh, uh, topic, Beanstalk. I just share my system. We'll quickly go through this uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. And then I will uh, uh, go through. Uh, meanwhile, you just if you are op using a sandbox, please use the sandbox environment. Uh, please start. Otherwise, if you are using Preta, Preta is also okay for you. All right. So please start. Get ready with all the things. See, I already I have started my lab. I can see this AWS also should work very soon. Uh, it has started already. Okay. Please keep ready so that we will uh, use some time economically. So be in stock. Just listen this. Be in stock. So this is uh, what I mentioned is that is uh, uh, something which is more advantageous than your cloud formation. In cloud formation, uh, which is basically focused on infrastructure, not that this is more advantageous than that. That has its own advantages. This has its own advantages. Okay, I'll just expand this one. <coughs> I, I hope you all can see my shared screen. One of you can respond. Yes, sir. Okay. So Elastic Beanstalk. See here in Beanstalk, what will happen? You know, see that in development environment, in your development, most of you, uh, I mean, whether we are solutions architect or whatever it is, we have projects. So projects means that we develop something. So what happens in the project development? There are many stages, stage by stage we have. Okay. So you see this one. There is whenever we start deployment, deployment or development, whatever it is. We have many things which are there, like instance launch. We start from instance launch. We need to have, whether it is a web server or a ERP server or a database server, whatever it is, you need to have an instance or something like RDS or whatever it is. There should be. And of course, it needs to be deployed. Instance launch will be there and the application deployment also will be there. Okay. And then maybe if you need, you have to create your backup of the uh, customers. That is private AMI. And then your auto scaling and load balancing. All these things are very much <coughs> important for deployment. And last but not the least, once you have the load balancer or something like that, you have your elastic load balancer final endpoint URL. This is what normally which we have. See, normally I tell you any ERP website, any e-commerce website, take up whether it is Amazon in or uh, whatever it is, whatever it is, any Flipkart or any e-commerce website, take your banking or whatever it is. You have a front end, which is a website, and you have a back end, which is your database. Database can be hosted in your RDS, like your MySQL or MSSQL or Oracle or maybe whatever it is, whatever it is. We learned primarily there are six uh, uh, types in your RDS. So you select whatever is the RDS type, typically MySQL or something like that. So now, please understand this one. The front end website, we always keep this one in load balancer. Why? Because if there is load coming across, the website request should come across. If primary one of the server doesn't respond, load balancer will take to the second one. If the server instance health is not okay, it will take to the second one, third one. Like that auto scaling will enhance and load balancer will continue. That is the functionality of the 
website and now the back end in back end also you can deploy this rds the uh, the database in what we call as uh, uh, multi availability zone so that high availability will be there replicas we learned about replicas and all those things the function of replicas is to basically enhance whenever there is non availability it will make the server availability okay and not only that load sharing also will be there that is these are the two functionalities which will be there okay so just important remember this is how the normal thing and now now let us understand that i have the code the application code with me that's all i have that's all i have and why should i bother about what instance should i launch <coughs> how to do auto scaling load balancer and also a my creation and also auto scaling many factors which are there like all these things why should i bother all those things if i have a code just upload the code all the things will be taken care all the things like instance launch deployment a my creation auto scaling will be done automatically you relax for about 5 10 minutes you get the endpoint url that's all finished no sir uh, whatever it has created may not be up to my specification i want to modify certain things etc etc you can do that in beanstalk you can do that that customization no need to go to the administrator you just you can go to the beanstalk application and then you can just modify accordingly so it gives you greater privileges or greater uh, what we call as vision to the application person so he need not every day so you no know, my application is not focused it is having some problem like that it is not the uh, uh, the uh, functionalities are the memory is less the volume is less something like that why should he go and ask every time the so the, the cloud admin he can do everything he can do everything being stuck administrator so that is one big advantage which is there you see all the four are clubbed and what you do is that you just initiate your code you just tell what type of code you have what type of code means that whether it is a node js or whether it is a, a php or maybe javascript or anything whatever it is there are some 8 to 10 models which are there just upload the code that's all and just relax you will see the endpoint and your application is running this is primarily used for web applications web applications <laughs> which is front end and back end okay now you see the advantages advantages of your beanstalk is easy and quick deployment of applications automatically handles the deployment details highly reliable scalable cost effective infrastructure you only pay not for the beanstalk you only pay for the infrastructure which you have launched can be extended to support multiple development stacks also you can use this particular one right so this is what elastic beanstalk functionality it is okay the this is also called as platform as a service so earlier we saw about uh, what we call as uh, infrastructure as a service that is uh, yesterday's one as a, a snapshot etc so targeting applications like java this type of question you may get dotnet node js php python ruby all this kind of applications still more are added create your application as normally you would you have your application just run that application like example eclipse or visual studio and packages deploy the code upload your packaged code i'll give you a code okay how to deploy this one also i'll show you that's all in this particular one elastic beanstalk handles the provisioning of a load balancer also along with auto scaling and deployment of your package so that endpoint will come out app as tomcat application it uses application as tomcat okay that is uh, uh, your uh, uh, apache web server apache tomcat within minutes you'll be able to access your application with a customized url so you'll get an app elastic beanstalk.com let us start working on this particular one okay you have your sandbox ready and you have your console everyone ready yes sir okay just go to google uh you can say sample dot var sample dot var you take this file again i show you in google sample dot var tomcat apache dot com just download the sample file here it can be downloaded here you have a sample dot var file So if you try to open this one, you will get some Greek and Latin characters. You don't see anything. The source code is encrypted. All you know is this contains index.html. This is a Tomcat application, I tell you. So I want to deploy this application. All of you downloaded this one from the URL. 
where we get this download or i just mentioned that go to google sample.war you'll get this download document. here download uh, here okay. just click that because i can share the url but it is easy for you all yeah done. everyone sample.war if you are facing that much difficulty in getting i have already uploaded in uh, what is this uh, sessions 14 war file is there sample dot war is there war war is nothing but web archive war is nothing but web archive so this is your url tomcatapache.org/tomcat7.0doc something something sample just click the downloaded you should get a download file this is used for today so now this is the final output normally the web developer has the code over there a simple a simple uh, var file or something like that web archive so now i am doing tomcat if it is php you will have your php code if it is your node js something will be there just a second please I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone has downloaded. Is there anyone who else who could not download the code? So now, if you have downloaded properly, then go to Beanstalk. Beanstalk. So Elastic Beanstalk. This is again a, a service which is available in compute domain itself. You see this one, compute. Okay. In compute itself, you can see this Beanstalk. Elastic. Elastic means that you can grow and reduce shrink. both things are there elastic bean stock just click that you should see the elastic bean stock service getting loaded see i am doing in sandbox you can also do in sandbox or what so this thing gravitation is end to end web application management please remember these captions very very important i, I suppose even if you prepare a short notes of all these captions very very important this one also please read you get many questions only from this Beanstalk is an easy to use service for deploying and scaling web applications and services developed with Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Go and Docker. So these things are added Docker on familiar servers such as Apache, Ignix, Passenger and Internet Information Service (IIS). So any of these web services it explores. So now let us create an application. How it works? You simply upload your code. and elastic beanstalk will automatically handle the deployment from capacity provisioning load balancing automatic scaling to web application health monitoring and with ongoing managed patch and security updates please remember this is the things which client really wants and they ask you a lot a lot so these services are very very essential this is a compute service create an application so what all you need so this application is very very simple you need not do initial days we had learned all the things auto scaling load balancing what all you tell me all those things you did why it is stuck everyone who all are using this one sandbox i am using free tier only so there there is no problem right yeah that is the getting good okay. so it's loading 
in uh, sandbox switch mm, i think uh, he has not given access let me see if uh, uh, i can do in a different way and lab probably he might not have given access to binstock because that is application oriented in solutions architect so you can do in free tar okay all of you you can do in free tar so what i do what i do i'll just explore in a different way Oh, it will take a couple of minutes. So I think it's not working in sandbox. Sandbox has some restrictions to all of those, especially Beanstalk. So this is mostly used by the application uh, uh, administrators. Uh, so that is the reason may not be used by solutions architect. But why I am teaching this particular one is that in your regular, if when you go to the regular environment, they ask you this type of questions. So we cannot leave out all these things. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I got a little bit of cough today. Okay, so let me check whether I can access this beanstalk now. <clears throat> so I just load this particular one, create an application. Okay, now it is loading this one. Now it's loading. You can see this application name. You can give maybe Anand Bean or something like that. You can give whatever you want. Okay, so all you need is this application name. That's all. Tagging, if you want, you can give. If you want, you can give. You can give name. Maybe I can say <coughs> name is a reserve tag. I can say a uh, key, right? Uh, I'll leave it. Leave it. No, not required as a tag. Remove the tag. Okay. And choose the application. So what is the application? It is Tomcat. It is Tomcat. So you can choose. See, these are the applications which I mentioned now. All these things are there. Just choose the application. The developer knows which application it is. Is it upload your code? Yes, upload my code. Sample application means it will come automatically. So here, choose your file, whether it is local file or from S3. It is from local file. Choose file. So already I have this sample.var. I hope everyone is following. So the code is getting uploaded. Done? Just acknowledge whoever has done? Yes. Now? Yes, Shashank is done. Yeah, it's done. Yes. Okay. Yeah, done, sir. Okay. Done, sir. All right. So that's why I was saying in the initial days, uh, create a free tire account. Because uh, in our sandbox, we may not be able to do all the things. And some of the restrictions are there. So many things can be done, but some things cannot be done. Uh, these applications also. Questions may not come for you in Beanstalk, but we need to know. So sample.war is, is uh, uploaded. You see this one. Say create application. Create application. That's all. Relax for about two to three minutes. It will do everything for you. <laughs> Creating a default instance profile. In background, you can see that there will be one uh, instance also will be created for you. Oh. 
it is not created. A given, right? <coughs> You're all able to see this one. I, I think uh, you do not have uh, permissions uh, for me. Do you want to continue anyway? Yes, let me continue. Let me see. Yeah, creating, creating. It is creating. You are able to see the same thing? Yes, sir. For okay. my case, it, it, it created a bucket. It created an EC2 environment, not bucket. Bucket is also getting created. No, I don't think bucket will be created. Maybe S3 storage bucket. Okay, to yes. keep the code over there, your code, it will create a bucket. Your code is there, right? You have uploaded. It will upload in the bucket and then uh, it will deploy. So in another few minutes, you should see this particular one. You will get a URL once it is done. It will you will get a tick mark OK and then you will get a URL. So the status you can see over there. See thing is that complete automation. You are not doing anything. The application administrator just completes the code, right? That's all. He will give it to the operator. For operator, you just give a small sheet how to deploy. He will do it. That much simple it is. Earlier we have done all those things like creating then why we have learned all those things if you learn those things then you can understand these things very easily is this clear oh, otherwise what is load what is uh, the system doing also we should know right normally the application administrator do all these things, but what is happening in behind they don't know so but you know what is happening this will take few minutes it is doing still So meanwhile, you can also see in compute EC2, there is one EC2 environment also getting created. It's not yet. It's creating. Uh, it? it's, it's taking some time, sir. Uh, ah, it's taking it's some creating time. A S3 first, then it will create it. So environment health is also pending. Initialization is in progress, uh, running for 25 seconds. There are no instances. Once the instance is created, you can see one instance also getting. It will take overall three to five minutes time. For to me, get the get created. Instance get created. Created instance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then well, let me check my what is that? My account is created or not? Now I got message to create environment is create environment is starting. So I hope okay. it is getting started. And the create target group name is uh, but there is no URL. Huh? You'll you'll get it, you'll get it. Suspended. There are no instances. Normally, it should not take that much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, failed to launch environment. The instance profile uh, is not associated with the environment, does not exist. Environment health has transitioned to pending. There are no instances. Sir. Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah, you can see this one. I don't know uh, whether this is completely OK or not uh, terminated. It's not. So anyone can tell me. Once this is done, you should see. Uh, in my case, it is error. It's not trying to launch anything, uh, but it will launch EC2. Yes. There is something permissions which is there. 
uh, you should get a url you should get a url and find so just go th with the url you should be able to see uh, the application running could you see all those things yes i could see sir yes sir i could see you could see and yes, uh, you can see it. that it works something like that it will be there yeah i can see now uh, this help is it student deploy huh? you could see mm. The URL from where I use. Oh, it will be there. Big one will be there. The dashboard itself. Created load balance. Okay, got it. Sir, it will. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's um. It will scale automatically, right? It will scale automatically. It will scale. I I just wanted to show you. Uh, maybe I'll take some of your screen and I'll ask you to share if it, this doesn't work because I want to show you something else in that. If this doesn't work, I'm taking it. I got the I got the web page. You got the web page. It will yes. show you. Uh, sample hello world applications. Ah. Uh, that icon. Got it. To a JSP page, what is the hello? Ah. To link and to a servlet. This is output of the servlet that is part of the. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I share my screen, sir? Just um, a second. I'll I'll just take that. Yeah, no problem. If this doesn't work, then I'll take your screen. Yes. Oh, this course is ended. Me, sir. The in yeah, you can give me. You can give me uh, the screen. Yeah. I don't think this is working. Sir, in uh, that V A S three. Huh? That V A S three worker I'm tab is it working? There we used to like there was on lab. Really. Correct. Ah, yeah. ah. Not that we. Oh, so you mean to say that re restart? No, not that. There also Beanstalk is working over there. There also it might not. Work. Should I share, sir? Or? Yeah, yeah. Please share. Please share. Meanwhile, I'm just. Uh, is anyone, everyone able to see my screen? Hopefully. This is that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can show uh, the URL also. This one. Uh, just a second. I will just minimize some of the things. Yeah, better. And uh, something else. Exit spotlight. Yeah, now better screen. Yeah, you can uh, just show the URL. URL is somewhere here. Shashank Bean. Yeah, this is what is the output. You can see this Shashank Bean hyphen ENV. That URL also please understand elasticbeanstock.com. So see what we have done. We have done nothing. We have done nothing. We just uh, uploaded the code. We waited for a few minutes. All things has been done. Go back to the screen. Yeah. Now you can see in the left hand side navigation pane, you see this one. Okay. Those all these things you can understand. It is a Tomcat 8.5 with uh, so and so 62 bit Amazon Linux 2. Okay, all these things. So now certain important things you need to understand. Go to the environments, left hand side, that is navigation pane. Just click this uh, navigation pane, uh, environment. This is the environment which you have selected already. Yeah, recent, just click that. 
Okay. You can see this one. It has expanded now in the left hand side. You see the health is okay. You can see this running version. You can keep in mute. Okay. You can just uh, uh, do what are the things which I'm uh, just saying. I think I hope everyone can see what uh, Shashank is doing. Oh, yeah, you can share that. Okay. Now in the left hand side, navigation pane. You can see this one. Uh, you see this. Click this configuration. This is how the developer really, really manages the application. Really manages the application. If he wants to change any of his application parameters, just just leave it. If he wants to change any of these application parameters or whatever it is, the behind infrastructure, memory, disk, whatever it is, the keys, etc., 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 all those things like auto scaling, load balancing, AMI, he can do all all these things on his own. How he can do? You can see in this left hand side. That is the environment which you have created. We expanded that. You see this. Go to the environment. We saw already. We are learning about configuration. We will also learn about the logs. We will also learn about health, the monitoring, alarms, everything you can do. That who needs to do? Developer itself. He can do. He can do using this uh, what we call as Eclipse or something like that. SDKs also they can use and do. No need to go to the console and do all these things. Okay. Now let us understand this one. You see this one. Scroll up. Yeah, you can see this configuration. This is the configuration tab. You can see this on software. You know this this software is uh, having environment of JDBC connection string. So and so so and so. If you want to edit anything, just you can scroll down instances. You can see instances also. The parameters instances like IOPS or maybe monitoring interval or something. No, if you want to change my instance ID from T to micro to something else, scroll down. The capacity is there. The capacity. Here he has mentioned that you can see this instance types are T2 micro and T2 small. You can say edit across the capacity. Yeah, you can say edit. If you want to change, how will you change? Very simple. Scroll down. Yeah, you can just see this particular one. This is the auto scaling setup. See this one auto scaling setup. Just leave. Uh, minimum is one, maximum is four. If you want to retune, you can do that. You can do that. You can change. No, I want more about 10 numbers maximum. You can change. No, I want only two numbers. You can change. So this is auto scaling is load balanced. Scroll down on demand instances. Whenever load is there, then only it comes. Uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You can see that capacity balancing. So if you want to change the instances, you can delete that T to small. That into mark. You can delete that. Click that. So it has gone. If you want to select something else, you can select a different instance also. It is dynamic. That's why we call it elastic. So leave like that. Leave like the time run. See AMI also if you want to change for that instance, this is uh, Amazon Linux. It is already selected that if you want to change. You can just select and change apply like that. So availability zones any, but you want a specific uh, VPC or availability zone. You can do that. Cool down period is also six minutes, which has been if you want to reduce that. If there is no load, it will cool down the servers. You can get that scroll down the scaling triggers. You can see network out all this. This is based on network, but you can do with CPU also. You can just select the matrix as CPU. Select the matrix as CPU. Metric, metric. A little bit. Okay. CPU utilization. And which we have done earlier. Average CPU utilization. How much is the up, upper threshold? Just scroll down. You can say that it is bytes or in percentage also. You can tell that in bytes or percentage, uh, lower threshold or upper threshold, whatever it is. But I'm not changing anything. I'm just showing you that you can do all these things. Scroll down. So all these things can be. Uh, changed across. Now go to the logs. Don't change anything. Don't change anything. Just leave it. Cancel. <coughs> okay, now the logs. So if you want to see the system logs, how can you do that? Request for logs. <coughs> okay, no, full logs. <coughs> full logs. You can download all the log files, where log file. It will come. So download. <coughs> So it will be there in your desktop. Okay, just to click the download. Yeah, it's updating, I think. Just wait. Yeah, it has downloaded the zip file. You can open <coughs> open the open when done. <coughs> open. Okay. Open. Yeah, you can see all the var directory in Linux var log. 
all the lag files has been dumped into your desktop you can expand and view whatever you want so this is the flexibility what a application administrator can do okay just close that go back okay now you see the health you can check whether the system health is okay or not overall okay overall okay right next you can see the monitoring we will learn about monitoring at a later stage now we don't know the cpu monitoring the io monitoring okay the network in network out monitoring all those things graphs will be there scroll down yeah you can see this scroll down you can see sir more and more all the things monitoring environmental health the cpu utilization okay network in network out initially the cpu is highly utilized 6% now it has come down to 2 every 5 5 minutes you can see uh, the utilization i think every 1 minute it is showing every 1 minute you can see scroll down network all these things also alarms you need to configure we will learn that alarms at a later stage but you can just click there are no alarms now you do not have any alarms okay so like that so more or less everything is uh, uh, customized you can stop sharing everything you can uh, customize and do accordingly <coughs> I hope any questions from any one of you. Yes, sir. Clear, everyone. Yeah. Even though this is not part, it's not coming in my system, uh, but still we have gone through uh, how you can deploy this beanstalk and of course uh, all the other things. Okay. In, net in networking. Mm hmm. So yeah, yeah. it's showing it's not a part of any VPC. It's not part. You can still configure accordingly. If you want, so if, if you want, and once uh, this is done, select this particular one and under actions terminate, terminate the environment. It will automatically delete all the things. Yeah, yeah. Your question, please. So, uh, how can we add it into like any VPC? Like give the public IP, private IP. It will be there in that itself. Configure. That it con uh, and configure it will be there, but it's in not required, right? Why? Why you should have? It is a website, right? Public. You are getting. So if you, you are if launching, to, if you are launching, uh, if I want to SSH, you can do that. You have a public IP also. You can attach walk key or you can attach your key, and then uh, you have an instance also. You please see that. in your instance uh, before terminating in your instances there is an instance also you can select that and do ssh is this is clear you wanted to see yes. once again you can share so if you are terminated then we can't do yes no 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 i didn't uh, do that <laughs> just, just just once again share i wanted to show once again sure. yeah you can go to ec2 yeah ec2 you see this one there is a shashank bean has been created you have a public ip private ip see this one you can yes, log sir. into this server you can log in just scroll right side whether key is attached or not right side right side this one the server not that not that ah uh, yeah yeah is there key attached no 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 still more still more key is not attached key is not attached how can you attach key go to your binstock configuration okay go to configuration but it will take more time scroll down because it has to rebuild the configuration there is somewhere where you can see the key also security security ec2 key pair edit i'm showing you the procedure you can try later and now you can select the ec2 pair key pair aws class and just don't don't do apply now it will take more time because it has to rebuild the environment completely okay so got it yes sir then you are asking yeah got it so this is how you can go to the ec2 and then you can even you can change your subnet also to your vpc if you want in the ec2 
But the end point only, we need not worry about the application administrator doesn't worry about all those things. Only the application administrator will worry. Is this clear? Uh, Just yes, sir. stop sharing. But still, you can do all the things. All the things you can do. Yes, sir. Sir, just uh, having a question, maybe I don't know uh, whether it is related to this context or not. Sorry, sorry. Uh, um, I have just uh, one uh, question in my mind. I don't know whether it is related to this topic or not. Uh, so just I wanted to ask this. Uh, you said that we have a multiple instance of database as well, right? Uh, to instances of database. Multi-availability like, uh, zone, I said. Uh, multi-availability. Yeah, through the load balancer, basically. If uh, any of the instances of the availability data. zone for load balancer will not be there. Load balancer will be there only for the instances, not for RDS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not for the RDS. RDS, mm -hmm. you have two models. I mentioned an elastic catch. Mm -hmm. One is uh, you have replicas. Replicas, right? That is you correct. Can. Otherwise, second one is mem catch. Mem catch, yes. Elastic catch. We spoke mm -hmm. of that initial days. Mem catch correct. means you can increase vertically. In the same mm -hmm. uh, system, you increase your uh, more memory, more something in the same server. Mm -hmm. But, but in case of in case that of is for replicas, the database. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. In case of replica, sir, how we make the synchronizations? Like um, it will uh, do automatically. Amazon automatically. And Amazon it will do the responsibility. We don't do anything. Oh, okay, okay. Only okay. one read rate will be there. Rest all will be read. Okay. Right? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. One failure, now. the other one you can make it master. Make I mean, it master. Right. Yes, yes. Yeah. You you said that. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Sir. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So that is about Beanstalk. If there are still questions, please ask. Please terminate the environment. Sure, sir. I'll do that. Um, okay. is anyone having question or, or should I terminate? Please confirm. Otherwise, <laughs> mm, I think I sir, agree. your one is also getting created. It huh? is. Your one is uh, also getting created. It's not. Uh, there are okay. some issues which are there. Okay. I'm going to terminate, sir. This. Yeah, yeah. Please, please terminate. Don't keep anything. Once created, terminate. So, yes, in sandbox environment, it's not coming, uh, but uh, you can do it in pre tire environment, and there will be no charges also for this because as long as you are using T2 micro, no charges. Okay. So, now. If you all of you has no questions, I'll just close this beanstalk. This is an overall additional topic uh, for all of you because we have already learned cloud formation. Cloud formation is very essential for us. Beanstalk is a supplement for us. Okay. Now let us learn about a little bit more, a little bit more. That is uh, Lambda. That is uh, Lambda. Lambda is a serverless application. So earlier, earlier in cloud formation, you saw about the infrastructure snapshot. There is a code, JSON, uh, the code. Once you deploy the code, then only uh, what we call as the infrastructure is hosted. You have EC2, you have all the behind infrastructure. You have to deploy. The way we deploy, the same thing, but only through the code. In Beanstalk, you upload the code, your application code, the behind infrastructure is created. Again, I tell you, in Beanstalk, the behind infrastructure is created, EC2 is created. Okay. Now, in Lambda, you have the code, application code. Why you should have the behind infrastructure? You are only doing a small testing. You have your code, you want to test it. So this is a platform for the developers. What they can do, this code will be executed in a shared pool. Amazon has huge number of servers. I tell you once again, huge number of servers deployed for each and every application. Deployed for each and every application. Suppose we deploy an application called as a PHP. Okay, there is a PHP server pool. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, you just upload the code. Just upload the code. It will be executed in a shared pool. You might be thinking about the security. Will anyone know? It is totally secure. Totally secure. It will upload into what we call as a, a kind of S3 or something like that into uh, a place and then from there, either you can upload even from GitHub or from local file or from somewhere else also, anywhere else, anywhere else, from a URL or repository, anything. Just upload. It will allocate a stack for you. It will allocate a stack. Once the stack is allocated, you just deploy that. Once the deployment is done, once the deployment is done, you can see the result. 
you know how much is the charges there is no charge for the infrastructure at all they only charge for the execution time not for the uploading and all those things only for the execution time and also how much amount of memory is being utilized that's all is being used so very very people say that it is the cheapest one even if you execute a 1 million lines code <coughs> you are hardly charge cents let us do that first let us understand about how you can uh, what is lambda and important points and then we will go ahead with uh, what we call as uh, uh, execution of this particular one also is the serverless okay iws uh, lambda so we will understand about why lambda what is lambda and later on if time permits we will understand about sdks okay so like uh, eclipse or something so we learned about ec2 this is purely infrastructure you have to execute everything three main compute cards this also lambda is also a compute mean stock we saw we saw about that you have the behind infrastructure in lambda no it is completely serverless please remember lambda is completely serverless is a saas saas the first day i spoke about ias pas and sas lambda is sa software as a service just upload the code you just see the result that's all in a shared pool it gets executed mostly done by the uh, application administrators for us infrastructure people we don't do that but we have to learn about these things what is lambda so that is the reason i have included this one you don't get any questions in the exam automated version of ec2 no worries about the underlying architecture for executing background tasks lot of codes from one service to another service anything you can trigger your codes etc okay most of the software engineers work on lambda a lot for developer lambda is very very important for uh, solution architect not much you don't get any question from lambda okay so what is lambda lambda is a serverless compute service means for the developers don't worry about the aws resources to launch or how to manage them just put the code in lambda and it runs it, that's all it's uh, simple although lambda can be used for execution of background tasks it doesn't use in foreground okay so that's all about this particular one so now let us go to the sandbox environment i hope this will work uh, go to this lambda it will be there in compute lambda you see this one run code without thinking about servers <coughs> sorry so this is a functions of lambda there is nothing which is there everyone ready understood about lambda yes sir just just give me one the right right if everyone is ready i'll show you a small demonstration maybe a sample code from the template itself if you have your own templates it's okay fine you can do that also is it taking sir uh, environment termination will take more time in Which one? environment termination will take a more time now just refresh Maybe by this time it will have it. Refresh. Yeah, I need. Uh... No, sir, for me to it's taking. Leave that. It will terminate automatically. If you have no, no. If problem it... occurred while loading your page, uh, no environment found. Okay, fine. Okay, then that's fine. But uh, you need to refresh. Uh, what is it? Yeah, others ready? Application? Please let me know. To start Lambda. Ladies, <coughs> sorry. Dashboard. Yeah, go to the dashboard. You will see this AWS Lambda dashboard. This is the dashboard. <coughs> Yeah, done, everyone. Please let me know. Okay, you see this one. 
you can define a function and add an application. That's all. It's as simple as that. So you can even deploy both at the same time. See here when you say create a function on the top one in this Lambda dashboard, as again I show you, create a function. Very simple one. Very, very simple. This I mean to say. Author from scratch, if you want to write your own program, that is Hello World example or something, use a blueprint. Okay. Container image, you have a container. This is added one, this one recently. You can add even a container image also. Browse serverless app repository. Okay, I'll do this uh, what we call as a browserless. I don't have any author from scratch. If I have my code, I can upload this one. So it will define what are the, you can see various kind of runtimes are there. Java is there, Ruby, Python, Node.js, Java, Go, .NET, all these things are there. You can see many things are there. We will run something. So let me uh, take this. Uh, you are not authorized to perform serverless report. <clears throat> everything is restricted. Everything is restricted. Browserless serverless app. No, you are not talking. Once again, you can share. Yes, sir, sure. Just give me yeah, a minute. Please. Did I forget? I should copy this. Why uh, the bucket itself is not getting deleted? That's so, that we will take care later. I'll tell you. There can be some policies behind. I'll tell okay. you. I do need to do this manually, actually. Leave it, leave it. That will not be charged. But delete okay. terminate the application. I'll tell you how you can delete your bucket. Sometimes it so happens that uh, uh, it will be uh, policies will stuck. Will not allow you to delete the bucket. Okay. Yeah. I hope everyone can see this particular one. Okay. You can see this particular one. Just uh, scroll up. Scroll up. Up, up to the top. Yeah, this is top, I think. I reach the top. Ah, this is the top. You can see this one in Lambda. We are creating a function. And I just spoke about this particular one. Author from scratch, use a blueprint, container image, browse, serverless app repository. We are doing a sample one. Just scroll down. Just scroll down. There are some public applications, which 786, which are there. Uh, what you can do, you can take this Hello World Python. Hello world, there is one application yes. there. Just scroll down. Is there anything else you can see? Just scroll down. I think this is okay for us. Hello world. Just take that. Select that. Hello world, Python. Okay. So there is a link also, GitHub link. You can, if you want to see the program, just click the link, source code. The GitHub link. Just click that. It will open in a new browser. And you can see this one. GitHub is a repository kind of thing which is there. You can see this uh, file also. Where is this uh, lambda function dot py? That is a Python mm -hmm. file. Click that. Mm -hmm. Click that. Scroll down. You can see this is the code. So what does this code uh, tells you? It tells you print uh, loading function. Print value one equal to event one. Key is one. <coughs> value two equal to event two. Something. It's just a simple program. Value three equal to event key three and return event key one echo back. So this is what you need to get key one, right? Or event, something like that. Uh, sorry, value one. This one he is asking return. That's all is the code. You can close this one. Let us try to execute this one. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You can give the application settings. Hello world is already there. Identify your mm -hmm. name parameter. You can give your name. Okay, Shashank uh, uh, sample or lambda. Okay, scroll down, scroll down. That is enough. And say deploy. That's all. That's all. 
it will take a minutes time scroll up yeah it is deploying in a minutes time you should see the deployments are uh, should be ready yeah click that creation in progress you can see the status create in progress wait 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 it will take a minutes time sure sir uh, because it has to create the application it has to read and then uh, it has to load the application everything it will allocate uh, based on your application up after uploading it will allocate some memory it will tell you all those things if you want you can see the view stack events also but it's okay there is some no, no, monitoring, no, no. Is Mon monitoring is not required just deployments only okay sir okay View stack event should I click on it? Uh, no, not required. Just uh, re refresh now. By this time, it should come. Rollback is in a I don't know. <laughs> Go to overview. Mm -hmm. Welcome your new application. So you Go back. There. Deployment. Yeah, the three buttons which are there. Mm three buttons uh, there are three horizontal lines at the extreme okay, okay, okay yeah fine. yeah go to functions functions mm -hmm. no functions okay, no so once again select application i don't know why it is going for rollback i also don't didn't understand mm -hmm. so once again create application Scroll down. Author from no scroll down. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down. No, I'm I'm end. Mm -hmm. Ending. Ending. The scroll okay. is end. Go to functions. Functions. Okay. Create mm -hmm. function. Should I do create? Yeah, create function? function. Same thing. Yeah. Browse. Browse server. Scroll down. Again, same. Or should I say let, let me check? Let me check. Is there anything in that? But that should work actually. Okay. Yeah, it click that. Work. Click that. Hello world. Python three. Once again, let us see. Yeah. Scroll down. Okay. Give your name, identity name. Maybe a different name. Okay. Lambda. That is enough. That is enough. Don't give sometimes reserved words will not allow. Deploy. Okay. What it says? Rollback. Rollback complete. So is this uh, anything um, problematic in code as well? Maybe sometimes it's happen. No, 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 no. Oh, you are not verified. on uh, this sandbox, right? No, no, no. I mean free tire. Then it would work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can select any uh, other option, sir. <laughs> oh, should I go to create function again? Basic information. See, this one is a function name. You need to upload the code here in this one. Author from scratch means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand, sir. But we are selecting this uh, and then we are browsing. Let us see. Uh, Browse serverless. Hello world. Python 3 is there. Anything else? Hello worlds are there. You can just scroll down and see. No, we only do this. Huh? Can we search uh, any other? Hello. Yeah, many I'll hello. David, David. Just uh, unshare. Uh, I will. I'll try to do in a different one. It should work actually. It should work. I don't know why it's not working. Mm -hmm. There is no function is getting. Mm. Okay. It's not allowing actually here.
So here he has given Beanstalk also can assume this lab I am role. Let me check. This high end services, uh, they he restricts basically a lot. Uh, compute, compute. And you can see this lambda. OK, create a function. Let me do browse serverless app repository. Hello world. I can see everything uh, till now. I can write maybe Anand. Uh, hello parameter and say deploy. Let me check. <coughs> yeah, it is getting through. It is getting through. I don't know why it is not come in uh, Shashank system. It is getting through. Yeah, it is getting through. The role is also added. Yeah, and I can check the deployments. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, your for your case is also rollback is it? rollback. I don't know. I think there is some problem with uh, AWS. I think correct. It should not come no. for the sample applications. Yeah, especially in the free tier also. And even though it. they have mentioned the verified Amazon itself, <laughs> they have verified. Ah, see, most of the people do this. Uh, uh, what we call as. Uh, uh, it's not this. Uh, this uh, sample applications only. Mm -hmm. It's not loading. It's not loading. Let me try once again. So there are some functions here. I'll just create a function. Serverless web application for loading files into S3. I think there are some hello worlds which are there. Let me check hello world. Hello, hello world. Test Sam. Let me check this particular one. There is a GitHub. I open this one. Oh, the code is not there. Getting error 404. Mm. Then it won't work. Wilson, the source code, but what is the file? Something like profile. <laughs> uh, uh, it should come, the code should come. <laughs> Correct. Uh, it is coming to the yeah, repository. Uh, it is something else. Project. No, this is also not working. You see, some people keep like that, but it won't work. Mm -hmm. My. Let me check. This looks something. Ah, this looks yeah, something. something. Lambda function. Yeah, I think same one. Same one. Same one. Yes. Same. This is uh, from which one? Okay. Uh, let me. Application name is my app. Deploy. Okay. 
OK, so as of now, yeah. let me check the deployments. Creation progress as of now. Mm -hmm. Roll back. Oh, roll back. I, I, think, I, think, I think I think let me tell you Wednesday there is an outage actually. Mm -hmm. Of AWS. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I saw that notification Wednesday there is an outage. So if you say AWS Amazon dot com uh, probably there is an outage. I think for some of the things uh, there are some outages I think. Probably, probably that's what is my perception. Otherwise, uh, not working is not at all really Amazon's this thing. It should work. It is a, a coming to rollback means that it is not accepting. It's not accepting. Execution is later on. You are trying to create application. So what I'll do for your understanding, probably I can demonstrate sometime tomorrow because uh, I need to see what exactly why Amazon's uh, thing is not working. But I can show you what uh, how exactly this works. Very simple. So in playlists also you have all these things. Uh, where is that? Amazon Web Service. Very simple this one. It hardly takes two or three minutes. OK. Where is that? Lambda service is there at four minutes. So already we have gone through. I'll just explain some of the things. Uh, you are able to hear the sound. You can see this one. You are able to hear the sound? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, leave it. You just understand this one. You, if you want to see, we did this particular one. Uh, we are using this browser serverless. Serverless, the same selection which we have done. This hello world. Just click that. Once you click that, what happens is that you can even check in the GitHub also. And identity name provider parameter. Your name that is enough and say deploy. So once it is deployed, you can see the deployments also. It should happen in a minute's time. So I'm just showing you from the video. So applications in applications are deployments also. Just wait for a minute's time. So go back to applications. Uh, just refresh. Yeah, you can see this one. Creation complete. Like this, you should get. Did you observe everyone? This one creation complete should come means that it will upload and assign an, a bucket, assign a bucket or assign an environment. That's all. It's not execution. This particular one application is just loaded into the AWS platform. Is this clear everyone? We have not yet executed. We will learn now the second part how to execute this application. Click that. More applications also. OK, so now just click that application. You can. Hello world is there already the resource. Just click the resource. You can see the source code and all the things also you can see here. So still now we have not yet executed. Just verify the code is same or not. It has just uploaded from the GitHub. You can see this one actions. You can see the tabs all the thing. Test also we will do that. We will do that. Alarm. Event, event. You can create an event name, EV1 or something like that. Just create an event because that event will be charged. Till now, nothing is charged. So executing the functions. This is part called as executed. You can just details. This is more important for you. This is more important. Now the, the answer is value one. Event one value one. That is the answer. You see this one? It has shown the result is there. So how much time it did execute? 11.93 milliseconds. So building is done for 12 milliseconds. And this is the volume. <coughs> this is the memory which is used. 128 MB. Maybe minimum is 128 MB, the chunk. 12 milliseconds. 
it is used okay so that is the billing which has been done is this clear they may ask you that type of question billing memory and build duration nothing for the infrastructure nothing is this clear so how many times you execute that much and i'll also show you one more thing aws uh, lambda billing how much really you will see that billing also pricing <coughs> you see this one 128 mb for 1 millisecond this is the price per millisecond it's at uh, around paisa <laughs> i just uh, kind of paid not even that mm. see how many zeros are there one zeros two, are three, there right four five six seven eight eight zeros followed by 21 it's not cents also if it is only two dot yeah, then it is cents not rupees yeah. i don't know which currency it will come so you hardly pay see where is that you hardly pay for 12 milliseconds of 128 mb see this one 128 mb 12 milliseconds 12 into 21 it's 240 milliseconds something like that it's not even 240 milliseconds it is uh, how many seconds i don't know you will never pay the bill also 1 million 6 zeros means 1 million 1 million seconds if you use then also you will not pay the bill <coughs> is this clear everyone i just wanted to show you even if you are using 10 gb this is mb this is 10 gb still you can see that every millisecond you are paying this one that is the uh, pricing very 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 less so that's why all the developers use this particular one at a testing level and finally at a production they do and the biggest advantage here you no no need to create the environment just tell it will automatically detect and it will do <coughs> just finish up the length of the code even if it is 1000 <coughs> lines it will hardly come to 1000 milliseconds that's all 12 lines 12 milliseconds i'm just guessing in that way 10000 lines 10000 milliseconds still still it is very cheap where is 10000 lines and 1 million lines so 1 million is one followed by six zeros just one question that uh, means how it will identify by the aws like we have just a code and code doesn't contain the information about the like uh, what we can say as uh database and everything but how it will decided by this uh, aws that oh i need to create instance for these things and the database and so this is uh, php python go you need to define right mm -hmm. for the web applications etc mm -hmm. not for instances and all those things that is infrastructure this is software correct so uh, that's what i'm asking mm -hmm. you said that or we saw even though we just upload the code and code doesn't contain those informations it just Which contain the executions uh, like uh, means uh, database uh, all those it doesn't oh, have all those things it is correct. only serverless i mean programming applications but anyways at the in the shared pool the amazon itself is creating some uh, um, uh, infrastructure yeah um, uh, correct amazon at has the, huge infrastructure in the data centers sir. but so how it will is that ha huh. it will allocate But, something for you hmm. for execution and then it will release once execution is done fine but how it will means because they have created environment for us in the shared pool hmm. how the amazon will identify okay i need to create a database and this is the connection parameter that developer provide through the see uh, those things are all behind our uh, scope see request yes. id is there okay hmm. meta id will be there all the things will be there amazon can identify Okay. Without identification, it will not do anything. Billing is also there, right? You can see this one. Everything timestamp is there. Your unique code is there. Information is there. Whatever it is done will be shown. Will be shown. Amazon has, but for us, it is not required. Not required. Right? Mm -hmm. So that is how this is uh, executed. Is this clear? Got it. 
So once you have created, you need to delete the environment also. I think today there is an outage notice which I got very long time back. Probably because of that Wednesday, they might have stopped some of the services. Okay, maybe some of the functions. I don't know. That's what which I meant. If this keeps on coming for tomorrow also, then we have to think something else. Mm -hmm. But uh, hello world, the chance is that hello world should execute. Correct. But I didn't find any application function, so I think we should not delete her because nothing is getting created successfully. Ah, that is that is the thing. That is the thing. So mm -hmm. let me check AWS uh, outage today. Okay, let me check. August twenty second. Today is not Wednesday. Today is twenty fourth. Some functions may not be. Okay, leave it anyway. That's not a big thing. I just shown you the video. Please go through that video also. And uh, please try. May not be today, tomorrow, or sometime when all the functions are clear. Okay, lambda is not very very important, but still we need to know about some basic basics on this. Is this clear, everyone? Yes. Yeah, others. Please let me know. I know that uh, you may not, uh, uh, if you are keen into developer, please focus these two things, Beanstalk and also this Lambda. May not be very, very uh, much informational for solutions architect, but if you know, well and good. It will be highly appreciated. All right? Yeah, any other questions? Yes, sir. So please practice these two. So we have just completed your cloud formation. We have completed uh, what is that uh, Beanstalk. We also completed Lambda. Okay, Beanstalk, I have just shared the system from a free tier. We did that and also we did uh, this uh, Lambda function also. Okay, so even though that is not very, very important, but still if you want, you can do it at a later stage also. This is a very small uh, clipping which is there. And also I have created a video. If you are interested, you can see. Uh, you can create an EC2 instance from the Lambda, from the Lambda code, how to stop the instance. Okay, you can try if you are too much anxiety. Yes, I have created this one and you can try here itself. Where is that? Mm, you can see there is a video, not this, not this. A small video, a very small video. Yeah, this one stopping instance nine minutes video. Uh, I have a code. You can go through this particular. See, this is not mandate for all of you. Again, I say, but if you do, well, it would. I thought of demonstrating how do I stop and start EC2 instance at regular intervals. So there is a code here. There is a code here. Uh, just click that at the bottom itself. You can see this. The code is also available. This is the code which I'm using. This is the one. You have to create a uh, role and then you have to define the function. <coughs> the function is also given. So using this, you can, yeah, this is the function. This is the stopping EC2 instances, starting EC2 instance also. This is uh, the Lambda function deployment. How to do that? I have given here. So I have also created an EC2 instance. This is my EC2 instance, the first part. And the next part is that from the Lambda function, how you can, this is the function which is there. Okay, just to attach and let's go through this particular. Please do this one. It's not mandate, but please try to do this one. I'll, I'll also share in uh, uh, WhatsApp. You can try to do. If you do much more, there are some people who do uh, maybe stopping the instance or uh, some people also do. Like uh, you have one bucket A, you have one bucket B. You can write a function, Lambda function. If anyone is placing a file, a file XYZ in bucket A, automatically another copy will be there in bucket B. 
right so accidentally if anyone deletes there is a so certain things uh, if you do on your own and learn that is highly appreciated is this clear what i'm saying a lambda function mm -hmm. okay i'm giving you thoughts stopping the ect starting the ec2 instances using lambda i have shown I, that is for that is there and also bucket copy is also there bucket copy one once you place i didn't have that uh, recording but uh, you can do that you can learn that you can just go to google how to do bucket copy you can uh, easily get the code and how to do that <coughs> you need to create the role also first of all role accessing from lambda to uh, s3 also should be created and it should be attached to the lambda function otherwise it won't work mm -hmm. hmm? right yeah and, and sir, one thing, one thing. Uh, sorry for interruption. Uh, you said that bean stock is used for uh, majorly for web applications because it's provided. Sorry, sorry. URL. Once again, bean stock is using for uh, this uh, web applications majorly. Web applications, mostly web applications. Only. Mostly web application. And the lambda, uh, is it the same one or we can say anything? It, no, it not could for be web anything. applications. Sir. It is it for could code. Be a, Coding. Uh, code for code means uh, yes, uh, whether yes. it is a web application or a standalone. Anything, anything. Even your C plus plus is also there. Okay, got it. Python, C plus plus, PHP, Go, all these things are there. You can just hello world is only a PHP code. Yeah, right? yeah, I understand. Yeah. Like that, you can define functions over there. So now we, ha I'll take another ten minutes of time. So I just want to show you the Eclipse. Okay, Eclipse. So what I have done, I know that Eclipse is an SDK, uh, one of the SDK. Uh, it will take long time to do. So what I have done is that I have just made a recording of that. It is mostly used for developers, mostly used for developers, not for solutions architect. But still, this SDK, where is that? This one configuring Eclipse for AWS plugins. Very simple for all of you. I tell you, I, I just show you. So first and foremost thing, first and this is CLI. Sorry, this is your console. So let us understand about how you can configure your uh, what we call as uh, uh, Eclipse. Eclipse is an SDK. Configuring Eclipse SDK. So if you want to do on your local desk, don't do it in office laptops. If you want to do in your personal laptops, you can configure this one. Okay, but it will take at least take time of one to one and a half hour. Okay, because it has to download all the things and then configure for the one time. I'll show you how you can do. You can also, I'll also share this video link in WhatsApp. So Eclipse is a software uh, SDK. Uh, you can use even Visual Studio also. Go to eclipse.org slash downloads, slash downloads and download this particular one download ide integrated development environment desktop environment uh, yeah so it is something like uh, 110 mb you can download that run this okay once you run it will take a minute's time to install in your local system this is for windows based you can select other models also as i mentioned this is a lengthy process Okay, just uh, ID for Java developers, click that and say install. <coughs> All defaults only make use. If it asks for VC++, please install VC++. So I just fast forwarded, the launch is uh, complete. So you can see this, uh, this is a bare one, Eclipse has been uh, downloaded and installed, the first process. Just say launch and say continue. Continue, that's okay. Uh, you need to get your keys also. Security credentials, access key and security access key. Like you configure your CLI, uh, same thing you need to configure your SDK. So just to get down. Uh, so here, this is the key which I have downloaded. Otherwise, you can delete and you can create it. So I already downloaded a copy. Uh, this is the key Excel sheet. <coughs> so 
So now you see this one access key and secret access key is there in my desktop. These are important. So this has been installed, opened. Now you need to add, you need to add Amazon plugins. This needs to be configured to Amazon uh, cloud account. So for that, before that, you need to add all the Amazon software into this Eclipse. How to do that? Uh, not install new software, install new software in that. You have to give your Amazon URL exactly same to same. You can give AWS Amazon.com slash Eclipse. Just say add. Anything your name. This is only an identification. Just watch carefully. It will now go to the Amazon website and add all the things. Just select all the things. Optional Android, you can if you want, you can. I'm not choosing Android. Say next. So this uh, will take long time. It will install all the necessary softwares. You see this one? All these uh, things we learned about RDS, we learned about cloud formation. Plugins. Okay. These are uh, the plugins. Stock we learned, Lambda we learned. See, these are all the softwares which are mostly used by the developers. So it will install all the plugins for you. So you may ask me whether EC2 can be done. EC2 also will be there, but these are all the environments which are there. Next. I accept. So you can see at the bottom installing software 4% like that 26%. I just fast forwarded. You can see this one. It will this will take at least half an hour to 45 minutes. Depending on your internet speed. <coughs> Let me come back, install anyway. So 56, 74, 83. Restart. You need to restart the system. But I restarted like here. Uh, Okay, so now this is restarted. You can see this one welcome screen. You see this one. There is a button called as this one AWS Explorer even at the top also this uh, yellow color. This one AWS Explorer click that whether you click here or here both of them are same. See all these things has been installed. See still some more things are there. Still some more things are there. You need to configure your uh, a secret key and access key also. You just install the plugins. So you see EC2, whatever the services which you have learned, RDS, cloud formation, Lambda, uh, you still have some more things which are there. SQS, okay, DynamoDB, all the things are available here. Right? Let us proceed. Uh, there is some. It's rotated. I just maximized. But you need to configure first. Go to preferences. Yeah, you, are, you need to provide this one, otherwise you cannot access. So provide your access key. Yeah, apply. Now done. Everything done. You can verify whatever are the things which are there or not. <coughs> I'll show you how you can create a bucket. Create a new bucket. Maybe I'm in KTH1. Let's say finish. Now you have a bucket created. You can expand and see. You can verify over there in your S3. Yeah, you can see the bucket is created. Right, if I try to delete here, what will happen, you see? So everything is now uh, very user friendly. 
uh, I mean, uh, the end users, I think they need not go to the console. This is SDK. Very, very user friendly. Just refresh, the bucket is lost. Even same thing for EC2 also instances. You could just go to that EC2 instance. You can change the region, North Virginia, apply. Oh, there are two servers which are the terminated servers. You can see everything, all the data. You can uh, stop, start, you can just 